What is up guys, Steve here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy Resistance Dog. If you like this video and you find value in my tutorial, make sure to like and comment down below. On this channel, when we hit 2000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away 100 USDC to one lucky subscriber who comments down below. Let's get straight into this guys. There's three steps in actually buying Resistance Dog. First, you wanna go to the, this website redoton.com and I'll link it down in the description below first step here is to download the Ta uh, Tonkeeper wallet you'll see down here where there's three steps to doing this first is to download the Tonkeeper wallet next is to bridge your current funds to the Ton network using Rocket X that's what we'll be using and then next is to actually buy Resistance Dog with Ton. Okay, and we'll be using Ston.fi uh, to do that. So let's get started. First step, let's uh, download the Tonkeeper wallet. We are on a Windows PC using Chrome browser, uh, but you can download the Tonkeeper wallet, wallet for any of these operating systems. You can see iOS, Android, Tonkeeper Pro, Telegram as well. And then there's browser extensions for all of these browsers here. The Brave Browser, Edge, Mozilla, and Chrome. So we'll be downloading the Chrome extension here. So we hit that button. And we're going to add it to Chrome. Go ahead, add the extension. It added it to our... So it added it to our extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it so that we have easy access to it up here. You can see it's up here now. So it's downloaded. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually start the process of making a wallet. So it's going to ask us if we have an existing wallet or if we ha uh, want a new wallet. We're going to go ahead and hit new wallet. Next, it's going to be generating us a wallet. Grab a pen and paper. And now it's going to give us these 24 words. These are going to be different words for you, but I'm going to go ahead and write these down and I'll be right back. So now it wants me to create a password. Keep in mind, this password is just for your local use. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. I hit OK. And then I'm going to select a wallet name. I'm just going to leave it as account number one. Now our wallet is all set up. So now that we've downloaded the wallet, that's step number one. We have a, a wallet now. Step number one is complete. We can go on to step number two, which is to bridge our funds to the Ton network. So we're gonna use Rocket X. So click on Rocket X down there. And before we can actually bridge our funds, we're gonna need our ton address so we go to go to our ton keeper wallet extension here and you can see here we're, we have the ability to send and receive we're going to click the receive button and we're going to copy this address so for me this is this is my address it's unique to me you're going to have your own unique address that you copy that that's where we're going to send our bridged funds to so the way this works on rocket x is that we're going to connect our source wallet which for me is going to be my Phantom wallet, which is a Solana wallet, but you can use any kind of wallet that you want. You have the ability to use uh, MetaMask or really any other wallet. Um, it can be the Coinbase wallet as well. It's just a matter of when you go to select what's, what the source network is, you have to select the correct one. So for me, I'm going to be bridging my funds from the Solana blockchain. So. I'm going to type in Solana over here. Actually, it's right over here, so I'm going to select it. But if you were on base, you could select base. If you were on Ethereum, you'd select Ethereum. So I'm on Solana. And I'm going to select my source um, token, Solana. And I'm, I'm going to be bridging over USDC. What I'll do is I'll connect my wallet. And I'm going to be connecting my Phantom wallet, which I have an extension for here. You can see I'm going to select Phantom. 
and then it, it'll prompt me to connect my wallet. I'll hit connect. So then that's my source. So I've successfully connected my wallet and uh, put down my source. So now we're going to bridge these funds over to the Ton blockchain. So what you do is you'll go in here and you'll select Ton. So type in Ton. So we're on the Ton, we're going to send it to the Ton blockchain and we're going to be swapping it for Ton coin. So now that we have that set up, I'm going to be bridging over 100 USDC, which I have inside of my Phantom. And if you guys are curious, my this is what my Phantom looks like, my Phantom wallet. This is wallet number one. Uh, I have in this wallet 100 USDC on the Solana blockchain. And then I have a little bit of Solana for gas fees um, because it costs money to transact. So next thing we want to do, remember that Ton address that we copied over? We want to put in our Ton network recipient address over here. Go ahead and paste and hit save. Then this is where it'll send the funds to on the uh, blockchain. So just to verify, Go back to your Tonkeeper wallet extension and hit receive and you'll just verify that your um, wallet address that you pasted in over here matches what's in the wallet. Okay, so this is our exchange rate. I'll be getting 15.2 Ton for 100 USDC. And all you got to do now is hit cross chain swap and it'll bridge over your funds to the Ton network. Now, this will take a few minutes. For me in the past, it's, it's taken about a couple minutes. And you can see the details here. It shows you how to keep track of this um, transaction. You can actually see where it's at, what step of the process it's in. So it's saying awaiting tokens. So what it wants me to do actually is to manually send these tokens to the address that they specify. So send tokens to initiate the swap. After se uh, sending tokens, you may close this window and proceed with other swaps. You can check status anytime using this link or using a request. So this is the deposit address. I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And then I'm going to go to my phantom wallet and I'm going to send 100 USDC. To that address so I'll, t I'll paste in the recipient's address and I'll hit and I'll plug in 100 USDC hit next and I'll hit send so I, I hit the send button now any second this should be updating showing that uh, that it receive the tokens so it'll no longer be on awaiting tokens but it'll be on processing okay so now you can see it says tokens received and now it's just processing so once, once it's done processing we can actually receive it on our tonkeeper wallet and then actually buy the resistance dog token okay so as you can see guys it's done processing and now it's a success. I can now go to my Tonkeeper wallet and I can see that I've received a ton. I've received 15.14 ton coin. So the last step in this is to swap the ton token for the redo token on Stan.Fi. So what you can do is copy the contract, uh, contract address and go over to your Tonkeeper wallet and go to your extension up here. You're going to use our ton coin to and we're going to swap it for resistance dog redo so we can go to browser hit ston.fi select ston.fi over here you can see it loaded up the it's loading up this page and we're going to go ahead and connect our wallet up here and we're going to select Tonkeeper wallet which is installed we're going to hit browser extension and then we're going to hit connect wallet now our wallet's connected you can see we have 15.4 uh, ton on this wallet we're going to hit this amount for 15.4 but it only lets us use a certain amount 14.84 so it can uh, keep a little bit for gas fees 
So we're going to swap it, not for stun, but for redo. What we do is we can either type in redo like this manually and we can select it uh, manually. But to be extra careful, whatever you want, whenever you're buying stuff, you want to copy and paste the contract address. So if you remember, we copied the contract address, the CA from here, from the, straight from the website. And we're going to paste it here onto Stand.Fi to select a token. So we paste that in there and it comes up with resistance stock. So we know this is the right one. Click this. And now you can see I'm getting 302.84 redo, which is about $96 worth when we swap it for a ton coin. So, and you can see the ex exchange details here. You can see how much redo we're getting per ton. And just simple from there, what you do is you hit swap and you hit confirm swap. That'll prompt you to confirm on your wallet. Hit confirm. And you're going to type in your password. So now it's swapping. I'll open up my wallet to see if it actually performed the swap. And you can see it did. It left about 0.2 ton for gas fees, but the rest it gave me about 302 resistance dog tokens. So that's how you perform the swap guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you found it helpful. If you need any other clarification, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you need any other tutorials, let me know as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.